I'm here with Dr. Christine Casey here with the Department of Fish and Wildlife. You are a new veterinarian. I am. Just started in July. So right now is the time of year that a lot of hunters are taken to the woods and people start finding dead deer. Yes, it's very common. Uh, this time of year we tend to see dead deer um, that are dying from hemorrhagic disease, HD, also referred as blue tongue. You know, everyone's heard this chronic wasting disease coming from other states and if they read magazines, it's a it's a major problem. Yeah, it's a big deal. Um, thankfully, we do not have it in Kentucky. Um, it has not been detected here, so we are doing surveillance for chronic wasting disease, but we do not have it. If you see a dead deer on your property, all is not lost. It, it's most likely here in Kentucky, it's most likely hemorrhagic disease or blue tongue. Yep. What's that deer going to look like when they see it? Um, well, they're typically found around water, either sick or dying. They can act neurologic, so lethargic, kind of stumbling, um, really slow. They don't really respond to human presence, um, so they just may act, don't care that you're there. Mm -hmm. And then if they're dead, they can look bloated or kind of swollen, blue. Now, the big difference between this particular disease and chronic wasting disease, which is in some of our states surrounding us, is that the chronic wasting disease is a disease that can really affect a lot of animals. They're caused by two different things. Mm -hmm. So hemorrhagic disease is a virus. Mm -hmm. um, chronic wasting disease is something called a prion, which is a type of protein that's mm -hmm. um, infectious. And really with hemorrhagic disease, some animals can survive where chronic wasting disease is always fatal. Mm -hmm. But thankfully it's not here in Kentucky that we've detected. So if you're out hanging a deer stand or walking your property and you come across a deer that you go, man, this deer has recently passed away and you can't tell why it had died, you need to report that, right? Yes, we would actually really appreciate it if you reported it. If you call your local biologist, um, which there's online, you can find your local biologist um, and report it, they may come out, they'll collect some information and then they can get samples and we can confirm um, that there was hemorrhagic disease there. So at this point in time, no changes to the hunting season. Nope. Everything is the same. If you do have a couple of deer that pass away, it's, it's, it's unfortunate that happened, but everything will be okay. Yes, yes, everything will be okay. Um, they'll survive, there's ones out there surviving and we'll still have plenty of deer. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. We appreciate no the explanation Thanks. and uh, hopefully it uh, slows down. This disease slows down for a while. Yeah, hopefully. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you.